Okay, welcome back. Today we are going to be going more in depth into meta tiles and how they work. Um, so as you probably learned from our previous videos, we talked a little bit about some of the special meta tiles, like the water that shows your reflections, the doors that are animated and open when you go through them and allow you to warp, the ledges here that allow you to jump down on them, the grass tiles up here that allow you to find Pokemon, there are a lot of different special metal tiles in the game that have a lot of different use cases and we're going to be looking into how they work a little bit. So first you're going to want to go over to your tools and you're going to want to go over to your tile set editor. We have not gone over this tab yet so we are going to talk about it a bit. Um, as you can see on your left here, these are all the selections that you have to place inside of your map. And on the right here, we see something that doesn't exactly look uh, like anything we're used to. It's probably blue to start out with on yours, if you haven't messed with this at all yet. Um, it, we can see some of the things are the same, but they're not all exactly the same. And we'll get into it in a second. But first, I want to click on one of these tiles here so that we can talk about how they relate to each other. So each of these tiles has a bottom and a top section. Some of them, it's empty, like for the grass tile, there's no point in having a top on it because the grass is just the grass. But for things like uh, um, the mountains that we have, we can have different terrain underneath them depending on the biome we're in. So, but the game only wants to have to store one copy of it. So the game stores separately, in two separate layers, the bottom and the top layer. And we can edit these layers individually. So if we wanted to change this to be blue, we could take from this blue tiles down here and we can make this blue, but it doesn't change the grass here, it only changes this. Now you're like, well why is this all blue? It's not supposed to be blue. Another way of saving space, and on top of splitting things up into two separate layers, is we have different palettes for the tile set that you can iterate through, and we can use any of these palettes to create tiles over here that we can put into our game. So if we wanted to fix it, we would go to three, because three is the brown tile set, and we can fix our, our mountain. Now, um, there are lots of tiles that do this, like the trees, so we could affect all of the, the background trees and everything like this, changing the different layers. You can add in your tiles, you can import tiles, you can change them, you can change the palettes if for some reason you wanted to um, edit one of these palettes for your game. Um, there's a lot you can do. We're going to be going over importing tile sets a little bit more in a later video. Um, but now we're going to talk about the meta tile behaviors because that's what we want to look into. So if we go to the ledge here, we see the ledge has a special meta tile behavior, behavior called MB jump south. Some of these others just MB normal, grass just MB normal, things like that, MB normal, MB normal, MB normal. But here we have jump south. And this in the code of the game tells, tells the game you can jump on it. You can jump south in particular. There are ones for each different direction. Here's west, here's east and uh, that allows you to jump. If we go to the water, it has the MB puddle. The puddle tells the game to show the reflection. The waterfalls tell the game to play the waterfall animation. The water is the same. The labels, uh, they're similar uh, in nature, but they're not used all the time. Um, the metatile behavior is the main one that we wanna focus on. As we see, the tall grass that you can find Pokemon on has the MB tall grass. So if you give this property to any of the other tiles, you will be able to find Pokemon on those tiles. Um, also give it the tall grass property just to be safe. Um, but we are going to look into how to be able to jump off down south of our little mountain we've built here. So we are going to just take the jump south and we are going to apply it here. And also, the doors, the animated doors, they have their own metatile behavior. 
and an error on label depending on the door. And we want to apply this to another tile. So I'm going to take this special grass here, and I'm not going to use the door behavior because the door behavior uh, specifically for doors, but I just want to generalize warp, and I like this one, so I'm going to use the aqua hideout warp. So I'm going to give this grass a sp this special behavior so that when we place this grass down, we can give it a warp and we can use it as a warp. So I'm going to go and I'm going to save our tile sets. Then I'm going to exit out. Now I'm going to take this grass. I'm going to place it here. Then I'm going to go to events, I'm going to go to warps, I'm going to create a new warp, I'm going to put it there, and I am just going to pick a random place. This is fine. Okay, and now that we have that, we are going to save, we are going to go to our project and we are going to hit make and while that is loading we are going to look at some of the files in the game that have to do with the meta tiles if you wanted to edit them and create your own so to start off with we are going to we are going to look at the meta tile behaviors h file this can be found from going into uh, include and going into constants or actually it might just be an include there are two of them inside of this file we have all of our meta tiles listed all of the names for the the special behaviors listed that is and if you wanted to create your own meta tile you would override one of these unused ones in meta tile labels, we have more. These are just the defined labels for the meta tiles, which are also used in the code. And then this main file that is not in the include but in the source folder down here, we have all of the meta tile behaviors. All of these functions is trick out slippery for is footprints, get bridge type, these are things that the game uses to determine whether or not like something is impassable or or you can jump over something. So let's look up jump. And we are going to take one of these, let's actually do south because that's the one we used, and we are going to find all the references in our project and this just shows us all the files that it's used in and we are going to look for this specific one because it's going to show us this file the ob event object movement.c is what handles pretty much all of the movement in the game that's as you can see here this is a huge file and this is considering this is looking at where we can jump and where we can land get ground effect flags jump landing this is where the game is actually calling these functions that we are defining when we are creating our meta tiles so if you wanted to create a meta tile you have to you have to add your meta tile into meta tile behaviors then you have to create functions based on whether or not you're on the meta tile and then you have to call them and do things in game on them in the event object movement.c file. And it can get pretty complicated when you're getting to this point, so don't be afraid to ask for help on any of the ROM hacking discords or forums or Reddit or anything, because this is obviously a 9,000 line C file, and that can be a bit daunting to edit, uh, so don't be afraid to ask for help. Uh, when you're getting into some more advanced topics. Now it looks like our game has been made, so we are going to load it in MGBA. Okay. And 
And we can jump off, just like that. And if we go to this tile, it warps us to four tree. Uh, not that we really need to be in four tree, because we don't even have a Pokemon. As you see, when we load into a battle, we do not have any Pokemon and instantly white out. But that's pretty cool. We have now changed the meta tile behavior of these blocks. You see, we can't walk into them, but we can still jump off of them. We can't jump off of any of these because we didn't add it to any of these. But we can jump off of that. You can see our reflection in here, just how the meta tile is supposed to behave. And our grass still takes us to four tree. <laughs> So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. This is definitely not the last we will talk about meta tiles. They're a very important part of ROM hacking, and uh, we could talk for hours about how to um, how to create them, what kinds of things you can do with them, uh, um, because there are an endless amount of possibilities. Um, but for now, uh, that's all we're going to cover. So if you have any questions, uh, make sure to leave a comment and. Uh, Yep, that's going to be it. We'll see you on the next one.